first torrential rains in parts of the state caused flash flooding early this morning. Take a look at this picture from Emporia, the downtown area. You can see just how deep the water was at one point. Cake Savvy Ray takes us to Emporia, where many business owners spent the day cleaning up. This is what downtown Emporia looked like at about 645 Tuesday morning. It was kind of crazy. Uh, you know, it was raining very hard. We were listening to the reports. There were several road closings. Janine McKenna is the president of Visit Emporia, which can be found on Commercial Street, a street that was recently underwater after five inches of rain fell in a matter of hours. I did see a lot of businesses that had shop vacs, neighbors helping neighbors. We had other businesses come in, say, do you need our shop vac? And so everybody trying to help everybody out. Water covered the floor of local candy store Sweet Granada. <laughs> Workers spent the morning mopping so the store could still open Tuesday. I'm glad that we had the amount of people here that we did here in the morning to help clean everything up because it was all hands on deck at that point. One small business that wasn't as lucky, Jack's Lawn and Pool Store. Standing water and repeated flash floods gave the owners no choice but to remove all of the water damaged floor. They say it'll likely cost thousands of dollars to repair and replace the floor. As a small business, it's tough and, and you just keep cleaning it up and doing some more work, but you just kind of wonder how much longer can you keep tearing things out. Henry says there was no damage to the store's merchandise, thankfully, so the store can remain open during these renovations, but the damage is still a blow. We spoke with the Public Works Director of Emporia today about what you can do to help combat the harmful effects of flash flooding. He said always pick up your grass clippings to keep those out of storm drains, as well as always notify Public Works the moment you see a clogged storm drain. The city also announced the municipal court was closed Tuesday because of flooding. Staff will mail out notices for new court dates. In Emporia, Abby Ray, Cake News on your side.